When we call a function that might throw errors, we either do so using try, then handle any errors appropriately, or if we're really sure the function won't throw errors, we can call try exclamation mark. Spoiler though, if you're wrong, your code will go bang, it'll just crash. However, there is an alternative. If all we care about is whether the function succeeded or failed, we can use an optional try, try question mark. And this will go ahead and run the function. And if it works correctly, if it throws no errors, returns a value, it'll come back to us as an optional, an optional string, optional int or whatever. But if at any point the function does throw an error, it'll come back as nil. This means we don't get to know exactly what error was thrown inside. If you want to know that, don't use try question mark. All we care about is whether the function worked or not. Here's how it looks. Here's an enum called user error that conforms to Swift's error protocol with two cases, bad ID and network failed. Then here's a function called get user with an ID integer, can throw errors return string, and immediately calls use, uh, throw user error network failed. And now we're gonna call that without do and catch. We'll use try question mark an optional try. We'll say if let user equals try question mark get user ID 23, then print user is user. So our get user function always throws an error, which is fine for this testing purpose here. But when we're calling it, we don't really care what error was thrown. Whether it's a bad ID or network failed, we could not read the user. What we care about is, did it work or not? Did a user string come back or not? This is where that try question mark helps. It makes get user as a function send back not a string, but an optional string, which will be nil if the any error was thrown inside the function. Again, if you actually want to know what error was thrown, well, was it bad ID, do this? Was it network failed, do this? If you want to know that, try question mark is not for you. Optional try will not do what you want, use a regular try. But a lot of the time, like here, we just don't care. Now, if you want, you can combine optional try, try question mark, with nil coalescing, which means attempt to get the return value from this function. But if it fails, if it throws any errors, then use this default value instead. Be careful though, you do have to add some extra parentheses before the nil coalescing, so Swift understands exactly what you mean. For example, you'd write this, let user equals parenthesis, try question mark, get user ID 23, nil coalescing anonymous. So attempt to call get user id23. If it succeeds, put it into user. If it fails or throws any errors, send back nil, which will then go into nil coalescing and become anonymous. So if I print user out here, it will print anonymous. Boom. Now you're gonna find uh, try question marks mainly used in three places. First up, in combination with guard let to exit the current function, the current scope, if the optional try call returns a nil. So attempt to get this function, if it fails, bail out. Second, as seen here, in combination with nil coalescing, to attempt something or provide a default value on failure. And third, when calling any throwing function without a return value, when you genuinely just don't care if it worked or not. For example, maybe you're writing to a log file or sending analytics to a server or whatever. Anywhere where it might work, it might not, you don't care, just give it a try.